Uh, good morning. I hope you are still fine and uh, at home, uh, staying safe, uh, and still learning because learning must continue. Today, I want us to continue with uh, integration. It is part of calculus. In the previous lesson, we looked at how to apply differentiation. Now we are moving from differentiation to integration, which is actually differentiation, but reverse. In differentiation, we were getting the equation for the gradient, dy by dx. That is what we were getting. Uh, for example, if you get dy over dx to be something like 2x, in one of the previous examples, we got that. Now, for integration, we will be moving back from dy over dx to getting y. So we will be doing what we did, but in a reverse way. I want us to recap a bit. If you are given y is equals to 2, x squared, for example, and you are asked to get the equation for the, for the tangent or for the gradient, you differentiate what you are doing, you are multiplying these two, the power and the, uh, and, and the coefficient of x to get 4. Then x comes back to, and then you are subtracting power. You are subtracting 1 from the power. So this is what you are doing to get dy over dx. And I will get here dy over dx is equal to 4. x. Because it will be x power minus 1. Now we want to go back from dy over dx back to y until we get back here. So our last step here of subtracting 1 will be our first step. But in reverse. So instead of subtracting 1, we will now be adding 1. So here I have x being power 1. So I'm going to add 1 as I get y. So y is equal to 4x. The power is 1. I add 1. Then to get this 4, we multiply the power with a constant. Now we do the reverse of multiplication, which is division. So we will divide now with the answer we get here. We had multiplied with the power. Now we will divide with the power to do the reverse. So we divide by the answer, which is 2. So I'll get y is equals 2. We divide, you get 2x squared. In the rules of differentiation, we say when you differentiate a constant, you get a 0. So here, there is a constant. It can, even if I was to put 3 here, I would still get 0. And because in integration, you don't know which constant you had been given in the original curve, we normally add C. C can be 0 or any other number. So when you are integrating, uh, in this case, you have to add C. So that is how you differentiate. You move back. Reverse differentiation. And uh, you always add C. I want to give you a rule, a general rule, like the one we had for integration. So if I have dy over dx is equals to ax power n, and I want to get y, y will be equal to ax power n. I add 1 to the power of n. And then I divide by the whole power, that is n plus 1, and then you add a constant. Don't forget about this constant. Every time you integrate, remember to add the constant. And as you are doing in differentiation, when you're given a polynomial, you integrate each at a time on its own. However, for this method, there is one exemption except when n is equals to minus 1. 
The reason why we normally exempt this n is equals to minus 1, when you put n is equals to minus 1 here, you will get the denominator being a 0. And you know, when you divide a number by a 0, you get infinite. So this one, will, you, 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 you integrate using a different method, which you are going to learn at a different level, not at this level, how to integrate when the power of x is minus 1, or when n here is minus 1. I want to give you an example. Integrate 3 respect to x when we say with respect to x it means it means x is the unknown uh, you can have different unknowns as we are going to see uh, dy over dx is equals to 2x this is similar to the one we had done earlier so y is equals to 2x the power is 1 so I add 1 and divide by 2 and you also add a constant. So y becomes what? This one will cancel, becomes x squared plus c. Given more information, as we will see in the next lesson, you can be able to get a c. Especially if you are given a point through which the curve passes, you can get this c. But for now, we will just integrate like that, adding c. So at your own time, I would like you to integrate this one. Take time and integrate this one. dy over dx is equals to x cubed minus 3x plus 4. When you integrate that, we are going to integrate each at a time. So you get y is equals to, I add 1 here to the power, so I get x power 4, and I divide by 4, minus, this x is already power 1, so I add 1, and I'm going to get uh, 3x squared, and I divide by the same power. Plus, here, 4, there is x, but it is power 0. Remember, every number power 0 is 1. So I'm going to add 1 here. You get 4x, and then you divide by 1. So it will just remain 4. And don't forget to add a constant. So that is the equation after integration. I'll give you more examples or more questions to go and work on your own as an exercise in the next platform. Enjoy the rest of your day.